this is lecture uh, 6 of uh, CS 47 uh, uh, section 1 uh, this lecture uh, is uh, is about the spim simulator and uh, we will be using mars as an ide or integrated development environment which runs a spim simulator inside will be introduced with what is a simulator and how we can use them and we'll start our very basic MIPS programming. Okay. So <clears throat> about the simulator, simulator are the uh, are the tools that virtualizes the real life operation. Uh, probably most of you have uh, f uh, have heard of the term uh, flight simulator. May have played some uh, flight simulation games as well. Uh, they're not at as accurate as a, as a flight simulator on which uh, uh, pilots uh, got trained, uh, but they are uh, kind of give you some experience, right? So, as a as a whole, like this flight simulator or anything else, like which what we call is a simulator, is is a mimic of real life operations under real life conditions. And that conditions are also being simulated, means artificial on a safe environment. Uh, like, for example, this flight simulator has all different sort of conditions, flight conditions, like maybe it's, it's, it, it, is, it is under thunderstorm, it's flying and runway is really slippery and so on and so forth. So, so that <coughs> pilots gain access or gain experience uh, while practicing in the simulator and how to tackle different scenarios and what what's the m most realistic uh, experience can be gained from a safe environment right so no one like a novice pilot no one wants the, to put a novice pilot under really a really real thunderstorm and ice cluttered on the runway and so on and so forth because it's a life threatening situation right so that's a simulation. That's a, a concept of a simulation. You are experiencing real life conditions under safe environment. Now for us, our situation, situation is not that adverse, but we also want to uh, experience uh, some of the inner details and in inner processing inside, inside a microprocessor, but within the safe environment. Means what? Means like let's say if I uh, asked you guys to do, do program directly uh, for the processor that is sitting in your laptop or or your desktop, you can you can do that. You can do that, of course, and and uh, there are some safety measures that operating system picks up. But in reality, like this is this is still you are you are kind of guarded by the operating system and so on and so forth. Uh, but even then, you can actually make very bad damage to your computing system uh, at that assembly level programming, at the machine level programming. You can do anything there, anything at that point. So it is highly possible for an untrained uh, assembly, pr assembly programmer uh, to make some, some really me, real uh, bad mistakes when it can harm the system so that's the whole reason we want to uh, want to study in a simulation environment where where uh, if something goes wrong in our assembly programming no need to worry about that your your simulation environment takes care of your problem and secondly we are targeting mips right and uh, it is very hard to uh, get an and systems uh, I would say like a desktop system or things like that using a MIPS. MIPS is more like a handle systems and small microcontroller, that kind of uh, systems we are talking with the MIPS. We picked up MIPS in this class because its, it's assembly language is very easy to pick up. It only supports a few set of instructions and they are very simple in nature, in a concept. So we want to learn a processor's organizations and behavior through MIPS instruction set and that's why we choose the MIPS. And since you don't have an access to the MIPS real hardware, 
next best thing we can do is to use a MIPS simulator. And this MIPS simulator is called SPIM. Okay, the name is SPIM. So simulate MIPS processor based on computing environment, uh, based computing environment, and we can program in assembly, run it in the program in a virtual platform to observe the processors and system behavior. So on top of this simulator, we will be using an IDE called MARS, which is from, uh, I think, Missouri State University. Please download it in your system. This is a Java-based application. Just you need to download the JRE and call that Java package and so on and so forth. It's very, very easy to invoke. It gives you an overall like an IDE, integrated development environment kind of feel uh, where you can type in your program, uh, assemble it and execute it and look at these different uh, component values like register values and memory values inside the processing system. So that's your Mars ID and it looks like, like this.